Well, I'm Gabrielle Lyon. I'm here in the Indiana Dunes National Lake Shore as part of BioBlitz, and I'm here with Project Exploration, an organization I started about nine years ago with some very entrepreneurial students and my husband, Paul Serino, who's a paleontologist. And what were you doing at the BioBlitz today? You know, you've got to wonder, why would a group of kids from Chicago come out to the Indiana Dunes on a free Saturday to be part of BioBlitz, a species diversity survey. What a strange thing. But the truth is, this kind of thing is really what Project Exploration is all about. It's about bringing students and people with curious minds together with enthusiastic scientists to explore the world. And so that's really what brought us here today. We have a group of about a half dozen Chicago Public School students. We came out with a herpetologist, a reptile expert from the Field Museum, and we spent all morning slogging through the muck in the wake of five days of rain. And among other things, we saw a snapping turtle on the move. Dunes for us are in our backyard because we're from Chicago. But from a scientific standpoint, the dunes are the perfect place to be. They're a very special environment. They have all the makings of a scientific expedition right here, including what the heck is here? That's what BioBlitz is about. And Project Exploration is here today specifically to understand what a living environment is like, understand what it's like to actually try to account for the diversity of the species. And we're going to use this experience as a very important building block for going back in time, about 80 million years. And this summer, we're going to go look at an ancient environment and use some of the same questions. What's here? How do we know? How diverse is it? How does the geology and the flora and the fauna help shape that very special environment? One thing that's really special for us is um, Project Exploration is really dedicated to opening the doors of science to the kinds of students that often don't have a chance to be involved with science. So 70% of our um, participants are girls and most of our students are Latino, African American, most of them are first generation college bound. This is really the future face of science and those are the folks that we get to spend all of our time with. Um, my name is Michael Ramirez and I go to Ace Technical Charter High School. I'm in the 11th grade. And today at BioBlitz we, we did a lot of different things. Um, we walked around the wet woods um, looking underneath different types of logs and finding out different um, species that live under there. We saw night crawlers and different um, types of plants and things like that. And it was just really cool seeing nature and where, where nature is and being outside of the city and just having like everything all fresh and clean, things like that. Was this your first visit to the dunes here? Um, I've been to the sand dunes but not to the woods like that that we have went through earlier. So you didn't come here for nature purposes before? No. Right, you like nature? Yeah, it's really cool just being outside of the city and not seeing the same things all the time, just knowing that there's other things out there. My name is Khadija Pullen and I attend North Lauderdale Charter High School. I'm in 10th grade and today we in Project Exploration went to Indiana Dunes. Um, we also went to the wet woods and while we were there we saw a giant snapping turtle. It was bigger than most animal, most snapping turtles that anyone has ever seen. Um, we had fun exploring and learning inf new information about the new species of plants and animals that we saw living there and ones we found out that we didn't even know about. How big was the snapping turtle? Can you show me with your hands? Uh, about, about this big. That big? Wow. And then the tail extended like about that much. Terrific. You didn't get into the water with it, right? Uh, no. And why is it important to know about these different species? Because it's a lot of air pollution and pollution period and water and the air going on in the world and we need to know about the different animals and different species that live here so we can know how to help them live so therefore we can help ourselves live. We can make the world Hi, my name is Jihad Broderick. I go to Amundsen High School. Today I went on a bio blitz. It was sort of more of a bio breeze. We didn't do anything really wild like that. So that's why you call it a bio breeze because it was easy? Yeah. You were expecting it to be more difficult? Yeah, I thought we'd We'd, I don't know, maybe hike through some real wetlands and stuff, do, do some wild sort of mountain man stuff, but it was much more of a breeze. Okay, and then you 
the herpetologist was with you, did he uh, inspire you? Is that the kind of work you'd like to do? Yeah, I really want a science career. Herpetology is something I've looked into. It looks like lots of fun. I'm interested in animals and things. Um, reptiles and amphibians are some pretty cool animals. You're not scared of snakes? No, not terrible. Oh, that's great. So this is your kind of country then because reptiles and, and amphibians like the swamp and the bog that's here. Yeah, they like swamps and bogs and so do I. So you're going to come back here? Yeah, I'd love to. Let me ask you if you're that interested in reptiles and I believe in the summer you're going to go somewhere special where you're going to be looking at the reptiles of the ancient past. Can you tell us something more about what you're going to do in the summer? Yeah, well during the summer I'm going to be heading over to Montana and I'm going to be doing some excavation work there. Over there I'm going to be trying, I'm going to try and find out how the ancient environment of that area was back when dinosaurs still walked around there. Um, this trip with the bio breeze was real helpful because studying this ancient this environment and how the reptiles and amphibians live here, I'm pretty sure that'll help me when I um, when I try and find out how the dinosaurs lived with their old environment. Because what you're going to see with the dinosaurs is not going to be at all like this, right? It's going to be very dry and that's yeah, it's all changed. Yeah, but I'm going to be finding, I hope that I can find some ancient plants and that should give me some clues. Right, well let us know how it works out. Hi, I'm Mickey Brown. I'm the Youth Development Coordinator for Project Exploration. And today we came out to the Indiana Dunes for BioBlitz. We were working with um, a herpetol herpetologist excuse me, from the Field Museum looking for amphibians and reptiles in the wetlands. And how did the students enjoy themselves? What, what did they learn here today? Oh, they had such a great time out there, um, lifting up logs and trying to see if they can find any salamanders, which unfortunately we did not find any salamanders today. Um, but a lot of them were really excited about meeting and seeing a snapping turtle, um, working with some uh, night crawlers, learning about poison ivy and po properly identifying them. So they really had a great time and they were able to just leave out their comfort zone. You know, we're all from Chicago, we're concrete jungle, so actually getting out into nature Experiencing fresh air was truly um, a great experience for all our students today. And what would you tell students who might look at this on YouTube or your website about project exploration and this kind of expedition? Well, I would definitely tell students that project exploration is changing the face of science. We're not anything at all like your classrooms. We're getting out there, we're doing actual research. It's hands-on. We're having a great time. We do a lot of fun and exciting things be it going to BioBlitz or going to South Dakota to excavate mammoth bones. So project exploration is definitely something that I think most students would enjoy. And we can read all about this on the Project Exploration website in due course, right? You definitely can, www.projectexploration. Uh, as you can see from the students, BioBlitz coming out from Chicago, coming to the Indiana Dunes, you know, it's the tip of the iceberg for a world of adventure and expeditions. We were, we were, and I think it's very telling, we were um, walking along and people saw the Project Exploration t-shirts and they said, oh, are you, are you from a high school? Are you, are you a science club? And the kids whispered to each other, we're not a club, we're a cult. And uh, I think it speaks to really the passion that they bring. They want to change things. They know that it's, it's not just about them being interested in science, it's about sharing that science passion with others. It's why they want to launch a blog. It's why when Khadija found a tadpole, she wasn't just like, oh, I found a tadpole. They took pictures of it, they wrote down the information, they're going to blog about it tonight, and that passion translate into changing little by little who science can really be for. So I'm so proud of them.